Okay, so as you can tell, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of different sorts of rings. Now, for those of you wondering, this is not actually my complete collection. I actually do have more. I'm just kind of run out of overall real estate. I don't want to you know, violate certain rules. Um, ironically, the rings I do not possess, but well, one's a Planeteer rings because Planeteer.org does not return my emails. The other one, of course, is the Mandarin's rings. Ironically, here's a very impressive set of rings. Actually, I'll, I'll bring up the, the sheet that I've got on his rings real quick. I mean, it's a lot easier to do if I actually have the access to all his rings. So, for a while I've been thinking, what will be an awesome fight for the masters of the rings? So therefore I wanted to go with Sinestro versus the Mandarin. Now, if I take them from their movie versions, movie Sinestro absolutely destroys movie Mandarin. Movie Mandarin, of course, is just a fraud. The way I do these is I do my, my seven different criteria. Make sure I got that screen loaded up, too. <clears throat> so I have Intelligence. Fighting ability, strength, speed, durability, that's like how fast you recover, that's all raw stamina, and vulnerability, <clears throat> energy projection, versatility, and x factor whatever is not covered in the previous ones. So, I'll get right into this, intelligence. Sinestro is great when it comes to the, the really large scale sort of plans, the fact that he has manipulated the Guardians. And he's also run his own kind of evil empire against someone who is a master businessman who's been able to do a pretty good job of going one-on-one -on -one with somebody like Iron Man, who also has a pretty good understanding of things like celestial technology, which is one of the background origins of his rings. When they want to go for the non-magical origin, the non-dragon ring, they tend to have them based off celestial technology. Yeah, it would have been totally easy to done that in the Iron Man movie. His rings are based off of severely powerful alien technology, which then would have made Tony Stark fly off into space, direct relation to Guardian of the Galaxies, which would have been a great way to lead directly into Thanos showing up. But no, this end decided to go for being an actor. So for intelligence, this is a toss-up, but I think the, uh, the scientific ability that Mandarin has gives him a slight edge. I mean, you have one to the Mandarin. Fighting ability. This one, again, is kind of a close one. You have a lot of paramilitary experience with Sinestro. He's done a pretty good job when it comes to fisticuffs. But Mandarin has a tremendous amount of martial arts background. And has actually been reported to have fought animals. And in most hand-to-hand -hand combats, he's one of the most dangerous people in the Marvel Universe. So fighting ability, you're going to get to Mandarin. Now we're at strength. Mandarin, not really known for his feats of strength. He's a guy who is normally, normally drawn as a relatively well-built individual. Sinestro is actually a lot stronger. Sinestro also can use his ring to actually greatly enhance his overall strength. Speed. This almost comes out now to essentially like ring feats. So Sinestro can use that ring to hit like light speed. So he can hit a lot greater ability when it comes to overall speed. Durability. Yeah, as I'm looking through what the rings have, he does not have on a regeneration ring. The ring over time actually does increase the overall healing capacity of the body. Invulnerability. Again, except for the ring that's like matter rearrangement, I'm really not seeing things that allow for a really good force field. And regardless of the ring that we're using, be it, be it a yellow ring or a green ring, he's going to have a force field on. So for that, it goes down to Sinestro. Energy projection. This is the raw overall output that he can do. I'm going to go through all ten of the rings, starting with the left hand. He's got an ice ring, a mind ring. Mind ring, pointless because Sinestro knows how to use his lantern ring to block mental influence. Electric ring, flame ring. White light. This is a ring that can be used to emit various forms of energy along the electromagnetic spectrum. That's an interesting ring. It's a very interesting ring. Black light. It is that absolute blackness and it can absorb all light. That's an interesting ring. Don't quite know if that would actually allow him to absorb lantern energy. If it is, probably not a tremendous amount of it. Disintegration beam. Okay. He gets to use it once and it takes about 20 minutes to, to, re, to rebuild itself. Vortex, since that's a 
That's a ring that kind of allows him to somewhat control air speeds. So it gives him a bit of super speed, but nothing compared to what a lantern ring can do. Impact. Concussive force beam. And then a matter rearrangement beam. You know, out of all those, so we've got ten rings. Out of all of those, yeah, the impact ring, according to this one, they say it's about a 350 pound of, of impact. Yeah, a lantern body is going to take that pretty easily. So out of all ten of his rings, essentially the white light, black light, disintegration, and matter rearranger tend to seem to be the ones that are the most, the most impressive. So out of ten, he's got four. Sinestro's ring has the ability to, since Sinestro designed this, taking the other ideas, you know, they have used it to erase minds. It also can be used, ironically, to split atoms. So if Sinestro wanted to make a nuclear bomb and then control it, he actually has the ability to do that. It's so overall raw output, that ring is unmatched. Now we're at the versatility. You know, with this one, this one it all comes down to if the black light or white light rings are able to work effectively on a lantern, that entirely goes directly to the Mandarin. Now, the Mandarin has a lot of different things at his, at his disposal, so he has the ability to use multiple rings at the same time. That's going to give him a slight edge in overall versatility. He's going to be able to hit Sinatra with enough varied moves at one time to probably keep him somewhat off balance. Then that comes out overall X factor. That again is, does the black or white light ring, do those actually work? They work against green light, uh, green light for the yellow lantern energy. It's tremendously in his favor. If they don't, man, this is a flat out curb stop. So the, the main thing that the Mandarin has to work with, he has to work with a slightly more advanced technological background, slightly more advanced, uh, slightly more advanced fighting styles, and the fact that he's got. He's got two handfuls of rings. If the black and the white or even the matter or disintegration beam can get through and really affect Green Lantern energy or Yellow Lantern energy, regardless of the ring he's going to be using, so that's what going to be using, that's going to be his keys to victory. If his rings do not work that effectively against, a, against Sinestro's rings, that's it. This is going to be a flat-out curb stop. 